into our hips. Happy Wednesday, frog pose. Yeah, good. And take a deep breath in through the nose. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. If it's uncomfortable, you can be a little bit higher. Breathe in and breathe out. And then from here, if you feel that your back is rounding, just start to press the sternum forward, breathe in. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Good, breathe in. And release. Nice, from there, stand up, inhale, reach up. Exhale into a back bend, like a star. Nice, Brad. Inhale, reach the arms up. Widen the legs and then exhale, go all the way down to your frog. Nice, good, Kelsey. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, back bend, star, biggest pose of your day. Turn the toes out. Yeah, you guys, inhale up. Exhale, back down. Lead with the hips and then the elbows few more here. Inhale, rise up, get tall, take up space, lots of space. Elbows out, underarms open. On the inhale, rise. On the exhale, down. Sit the hips low. And then on this next one, lift halfway. Still look forward and then start to wiggle your hips side to side. So your knees are bent your toes are out, fingertips on the floor. Nice to see you, Sake, I'm so glad. Good, so just feel the inside stretch here through the legs, notice your hips. Nice, Parker, good. And then turn the toes forward, right hand down, and then inhale the left arm high. And then exhale, switch, release, and then send the other arm up. Exhale, come down, inhale, rise up, stand up. Star pose, this time toes are pointed forward. Grab a hold of your hands and take a side bend one way. Good, inhale, center, grab a hold of your other hand, take it to the other side. Nice, Josh, good. Inhale up, side bend over, inhale up, and over. So feeling kind of the side waist, keep your hips neutral here. One more time each side. Good. And then hands to hips, bring your feet closer together, more like hips with distance. Take your left hand to your sacrum and then spin up and over and around. Make sure you're careful on that knee and then switch. Other hand to your sacrum and turn your entire body to the side. Make sure your knees feel good. Yeah, good. So just warming up your low back, getting you kind of loosened up here before we get going. One more each side. And then hopefully you are facing the front of your mat. Inhale, chest expansion, hands behind you. On the exhale, a bound forward fold. Lift your hips, lift your hands up. Shake your head yes, shake your head no. Good, Melissa. And then from here, back down to that frog pose, sit the hips. Hands to heart space, breathe in. On the exhale, plant your hands and then step your left foot forward and your right toes back. Find your low lunge with your hands flat on the floor. Yeah, good. Elevate your right thigh bone from the floor. Spread your collarbone, chin off the chest. Hold steady here. Can you lift your right thigh more from the ground? and then round your spine like cat pose. Make sure your right hand is 
underneath the shoulder or in front of it. Inhale, the left arm high, spiral into your twist. Good, Brad. And then take the left hand back behind you as you dip your hips enough to where your knee still feels comfortable. Good. Exhale. Straighten the left leg and reach your left fingertips to the front of your mat. So really funky pyramid pose. Again, inhale, bend your left knee, rainbow the left arm up and all the way back. Yeah, so intention here is to really get that front side body stretch. Yeah, nice. Like you're trying to reach for someone's hand behind you. Nice, Parker. Exhale, straighten the legs and then left hand to the center of your mat, the top part, as you get into the legs here. Breathe deep, feel your core engaging. Good, bend your right knee, reach the left arm up, back, and hold. Keep your arm in the socket and then just open up. Good, left hand comes down to the front and then both hands go to the side. Find your wide-legged forward fold. So you're here facing the right side of your mat. Very good. Take a few stretches. You can go halfway. You can go for a twist, lifting one hand and the other. Take a few moments here, just feeling your spine, feel the hamstrings. Awesome, you guys. Good. Nice, Josh. And then bring it back to the center. So walk back to the front. See this low lunge now. This time, frame your left foot with both of your hands. So hands go on the outside of the left foot. And lift your head. Lower the right knee. And find your hip flexor stretch. So you can either leave your right toes tucked. That'll deepen it. Or untucked. That's less support for your knee. So take your pick. Very good. On the exhale, half splits. Straighten the left leg. And you want your, your left heel and your right knee somewhat, somewhat close together. So it's about hip width distance here. Keep sitting the hips back. Keep pressing the left heel, Kelsey, a little bit more. Good. And then right hand to the floor. Listen carefully, either on your right toes or your right knee. Modified side plank. So it's just step. You're either in regular side plank or you're here on your knee. Just breathe, stretch. Yep, good, you guys. And then into wild thing, right? So you can be on your knee or you're on your toes. Beautiful. Exhale, plank. Breathe in. Downward facing dog, hips back. Very good. Take a deep breath in. Exhale out. Breathe in. Legs wide. Open up, exhale, let it go. Keep lengthening your hips. Looking good, everyone. Get a little bit more press in the hands, Parker. Good, inhale, look forward, bend your knees, and then your choice, either handstand or step to your frog pose. So. You are taking your handstand, move your hands closer to you, bend the knees, hop up, and then frog. All right, so your choice. Nice, Parker. That was good. Good. And then from here, lift your chest, elbows to the sides, and then step your right foot forward and your left toes back. We did this earlier. So this time, your, your right heel and your left toes are further apart. Good. Right foot forward, left toes back. Take a deep breath in here. Lift your left thigh from the floor. Both hands on the inside of your right foot. Good. 
around your spine, find your upper core if you can. Stay lifted with that left knee. On an inhale, reach the right arm up to the sky. Keep your left arm strong, full breath in. On the exhale, lower the hips a little as you reach all the way back. And try to give your right side trap, traps a stretch. So where your neck is, yeah, yeah, you guys, very good. Yeah, keep leaning. On the exhale, rainbow the hand. Reach the right hand forward in front of your mat and then straighten the legs. So you're like a, you're like a five pointed star here. Right hand is the front of your mat, left hand is to the base, to the side, and then the toes. Good. Get low with your hips. Inhale, lift the right arm up. And then exhale, reach all the way back. You can lower the hips a little. So intention here is to stretch out your hips to strengthen the left arm. Start warming up your back and your core. Good, inhale, round it forward. Right hand goes to the front edge of your mat, straighten the leg. Make sure your right hand's forward, your left hand is in position there. We got one more here. Bend into your knees. Lift the right hand. Exhale, reach all the way back. One more. Good. And release. Good. Bring the hands down. And then from here, lower the left knee. You take, a, take your right foot in and find your half splits. So adjust if you need. Move your left knee back. Flex your right toes to the sky. Frame your right foot this time. Yeah, good. Keep breathing deeply into that right leg. So if you can, elevate the chest some more. Here, bend your right knee and then place your left hand down and whether you are oh sorry go ahead lift lift your left knee reach your right arm up good when you're ready exhale turn everything towards the left side of your mat let's go for that let's go for that forward fold wide-legged fold then we'll get to the side plank as well Take a few breaths here. You can interlace the hands behind you, go for a sandasana. Iron out your back so you can kind of find like a snake-like movement with your upper body. Bending the elbows, bending the shoulders. So try to release something like trapped energy. A lot of places we hold that tension is our hips and the underarms, our jaw. Yeah, good Josh. Good. Bring it back to the center, to the front. And then here's your chance, either go for your, your side plank or like myself, you're gonna be on the knee and then pick up your leg. All right, so yogi shows you're in side plank or left knee down right leg up. One more breath. Then exhale, release your right foot to your wild thing. Support yourself with your left hand. Lift your chest up. Good. Exhale, plank. Hold strong. Stay in plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good work. And then hold here for five breaths. Keep imagining my hands. We're pulling your hips back here in space. Parallel your feet. Spread your toes, spread your fingers. And then lower down to your knees. Nice. 
from here. Melissa, you can do cat cow. And then everyone, take two rounds of cat cow. And then when you feel prepared for that, lower your right forearm only. And if this feels, if you want to do this, Melissa, no worries too. Everyone, lower your right forearm and have your left fingertips on the floor. Okay. And then I'd like you to please look up to the left. Yeah, stretching your back and then exhale, look up to the right. So bend your left elbow if you know it. So again, inhale, look up to the left, right forearm down, left fingers on the floor. And exhale, again, look towards the right. Get as low as you can with your chest. A few more times here. Lift. And exhale, look to the right. And then from here, reposition yourself to neutral. Your right forearm is down. Inhale the left arm high, as high as you can. Thread the needle underneath your forearm. So behind your forearm, excuse me. So right forearm still down. We're trying to target these muscles in between the shoulder blades. Knees are parallel. Keep your right forearm down. Good. And then inhale, unwind, left arm up. And then from here, release the fingertips. Then turn your right forearm to nine o'clock. You there? Good. Then find your side plank. Left arm up. Hold strong. Here for four. Scoot down if you need three, two, and one. Release. Good. Knees to the ground. Lift yourself for cat or cow, rather. Exhale round for your cat pose. Again, two more times. Inhale. And exhale. All right. Lower the left forearm this time. Go onto your right fingertips. When you feel good there, look up towards the right. So start to angle your gaze up. You, you'll feel this twist in your midsection. A little bit of core work. And then exhale down. Look up the other way. Bend your right elbow a lot. Let this be a deep neck stretch. Nice. And then lift yourself away from the floor. Look to the right. That right arm is gonna straighten more so than when it bends. Good, and then look towards the left. Bend that right arm a lot. Keep going. Look towards the right. Right arm straightens some more. And then exhale to the left. Yeah, really freeing up your body here while you're strengthening the arms. Good, inhale, release the center. Left arm stays down, inhale the right arm up. Exhale, thread the needle through. And then you can choose, right palm faces up or faces down. Up will be more spacious in your back. Really try to stretch there. Keep the hips lifted. Yeah, nice adjustment, Kelsey. And then breathe. Feel this twist in your midsection. Try not to let your right sitting bone go towards the left, so even it out. Yeah, very good. Inhale, lift. Okay, and then release your right fingers. Move your left hand to three o'clock to point that clock to the right. Get ready and then find your side plank. All right, so you're on your elbow. Lift and hold. Here for five. Four. Three, two, and one. Release your knees. Nice work. Inhale for cow pose. Breathe in. And then exhale, round your cat. Then this time, both forearms. So, and Melissa, if you would rather just do cat cow, you can. And then everyone, let's go forearm plank. All right, have both forearms parallel, chest open. Yeah, good, Kelsey. Hips slow. Palms flat. Good. One more breath. And exhale, lower down to your knees. Lift up onto your hands. 
find the downward facing dog. Yeah, good. Very good. Take five breaths. Two more. One more. And separate your hands a little bit wider. Keep your gaze back towards your toes. Take a deep breath in. On the exhale, bend the elbows to the sides like you're trying to do a push up. Good, and then press. Nice, how are we doing? Exhale, bend. Let me look. Yep, you guys look good. And straighten. It's super gentle here. It's like a decline push up, bend. And extend. We got two more. Try not to overdo it. Nothing too much here. Bend. Extend. One more. So you'll really feel where in the arms is the strengthening. Bend. And extend. Nice. Lower down through the knees. Inhale, lift the arms up. And then exhale. Windmill your hands back. Both of them. A few times. Let's go ahead and lower the forearms back down, either down dog or dolphin pose right here. So some of, most of you will probably be in dolphin. And then from here, make sure your elbows are further apart than normal. Lift your left fingertips and then place them on the ground to the side. Just exactly what we did on our knees. Now you're in down dog. Breathe. Lower the left forearm, we'll switch. Transfer the weight into the left forearm and then lift your right fingertips, place them on the mat, tent them, and hold. Four, three, so good, two, and one, nice. Release the knees, inhale, arms up, and then this time interlace the hands behind your back. Open up that exact part of the shoulder we just strengthened. Breathe, press the forearms back or into each other, hands back. Good, and then take your hands that you wrapped to the right hip, and then turn your right ear to your right shoulder. And then turn your chin down to your chest, and then over towards the right shoulder. So kind of do this triangle shape. So right ear to your right shoulder, good, and left, or chin down to the chest, and then chin to the right shoulder. Keep going. Right ear to the right shoulder, chin down to the chest, and then chin to the right shoulder. Good, release the arms, look up. Exhale, circles, kick them back. Very good. Then interlace other thumb on top, find your chest expansion. Take your hands to the left this time. Good, and then left ear, left shoulder. So your hands are wrapped around towards the left side of your hip. Nice, and then chin down to the chest, and then chin to the left shoulder. Good, again, center, left ear, left shoulder, chin down to the chest, and then chin to the left shoulder, and neutral. A few more. Left ear, left shoulder, chin down to the chest, chin to the shoulder, one last, left ear, left shoulder, chin down, chin to the left, and unwind, inhale, reach up, and then exhale, camel pose, so give yourself a good press in those hips, lift your gaze, free up your throat, and then the release is child's pose, or go for it. Let's go for a really interesting headstand variation. So your child's pose or you're here, right? So listen carefully, forearms on the ground. Yeah, then flip your thumb to face up. So hopefully you can see my hand here. Place your right hand behind your head. Or yeah, behind your head, like right here. Okay, and then your left hand's gonna go 
cut between your knee and your right tricep. Lift up. So a little bit of a supported headstand and a tripod headstand. 